The MPC needs more plugins. I need more sounds, more sounds. The MPC needs key detection so I can find out the key of a sample. I'm just not that good. The MPC doesn't allow me to do gliding 808s and I need legato mode. Oh my God, what is Akai doing? We're here now. <laughs> the sequence. What is going on, people's DJ app here, and I definitely want to take time to talk about this update because oh man, and I got a hands-on video for you where I'm gonna walk you through some of my favorite new features as well as the other features and so forth. So if you are thinking about getting the MPC, now is the best time and support your boy by going to the links in the description box and I'll have an affiliate link ready for you. It will help support this channel at no additional cost. Also, I have links in the description box for the playlist for the MPC Live and the MPC One. So yeah, now is the time, guys. You need to go get it. And I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comments section about what is your favorite new feature in the MPC new firmware update. And I know, guys, I will have a separate video for the MPC software so we can walk you through the whole entire thing. You already know the vibes there. Let's begin. Just in case you haven't already, make sure that you go to akaipro.com. The link will be in the description box and register your MPC Live X01 just in case you are a new owner of the MPC series of this current generation and get your firmware update. I have a link in the description box on how to do that. So this is just a kind reminder for anybody that doesn't know how to firmware update their MPC Live X01. So let's begin. So what I have here is a drum line. Again, I'm using Pure Platinum as an expansion for drums for this drum line. And you'll notice something off rip. If you look over here, you see the Acheria audio fuse right here plugged up into the MPC via the USB ports on the back. And that means what? Well, guess what? It supports audio interfaces directly inside of the MPC so you can expand it. Here's proof of that. Let's turn it back up. Yeah, and just to further show you proof, how do you do that? Well, guess what? All you have to do is press the menu button, press the cogwheel, and you'll see a new tab over here to the left part of the screen and you will see audio devices. Now, if I go back to internal, guess what? If I go back to my main, press start, you hear no audio and you can see that the audio is not on right over here. If I turn it up, now you're hearing it just through the MPC Live 2 speaker. This is a huge update, guys, and this is a big one at that. Full audio interface support. So the next thing I'll do is go into the browser. I'm gonna double tap. Instead of pressing Shift and Browse, I'll select some samples here. Now we're in the sample edit menu, and you can see for yourself that it might not appear to be any different from before. Well, hit this arrow over here, and now you're welcome with new features. Now, what you can see is over here, the key detection. That is cool, right? So you can detect the key, hit that button, and it will detect it for you. It says it is a D sharp major, and on the sample itself, which I picked from MXX Audio on purpose, it is a C sharp. So let's see which is right. Let's explore. So what I'm gonna do is Go ahead and chop up the sample, and then we're gonna go along with it. All right, so let's lay this out real quick. Three, four. Now that we have that, 
The next thing I want to do, and what I usually do, is just lay out my 808. So I'm just going to go in here and grab something from F9 expansion, which is my favorite expansion to use just to grab 808s that are already created in the key group. And now we're going to grab this 808. And the next thing we're going to do, go back into the main, select it, and remember it said it was a D sharp major. So let's go over here to the D sharp major. So now that we know that it is a D sharp major, which is an E flat major, we could just go ahead and make it a D minor because we want it to be a little darker. And now let's go and drop the octave. record that in and now you're just laying out your 808s like you would normally do it and I'm okay with that so now we're back to this beat right here and we added a key group for a reason key group 808 so we have these 808s over here and now I'm gonna access the program edit menu and now you can see that key groups has been changed I just did a lesson on it don't worry I'll do another one so you have a different UI and a different way to look at a couple of things so now you have note on mode you have one shot mode and note off mode basically just kind of off hinges the notes like it takes it a little bit off the grid, not my cup of tea, but nonetheless, you can see things clearer now. Now let's go to the samples tab right here and you can see that a few things have changed. Now you have tail length, which is off right now. And if I was to turn it on, you can add more tail length. Uh, you can affect the tail start. And those are things that people ask for as well as different loop points as well. More about that in another video. But what I'm gonna do here is go into the different tabs in the sample area and you can see you know kindly that a lot of the user interface has changed but the biggest change that everybody wants to see is this portamento so now you have legato but if you add time you'll notice nothing happens so turn legato mode off which you don't need to turn it on at all if you want to slide And you have quantized as well. Let's hear that. Let's hear it with the track. I ain't gonna even lie. I'm actually happy about this one too. Now I wanna show you something really cool. <laughs> one of my favorite things that happened to the MPC, half speed. Yes, gross beat has now hit the MPC natively. So let's go ahead and hit this eyeball right over here and go to our insert. We're gonna go to the insert effects and we're gonna check out harmonics first. And you'll see that you have new effects like diode clip, which we're gonna use on the 808 a little later, uh, granulator, yeah, and a few more. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that I identify first and go to modulation and we see air half speed. So let's go ahead and select that, open it up and let's hear how it sounds. volume close solo this track and we're going to play with it a little bit more go into the insert effect again and you have different modes too as well you can really slow it down have it going crazy with 1.5 
So it's more akin to like halftime by cable guys, and shout out to them by the way. And you can choose to listen to it how it sounds like normally. Then bring it back when you want. Choose the loop length. And so forth. And wow. Incredible. And more importantly, use the Q links to access the different features all together. So you can just have a healthy mix and go about your business. Choose the fade. Choose how hard or how soft or how fast or how slow the fade in are. Are, I mean like is, but you know, the vibes here. But anyways, you can even filter it out too as well. And then choose band. And so forth. So you have some healthy mixtures here. So let's check out the other effect. I'm gonna go unsolo and go to the 808, solo it. And let's add the dial clip. Cause 808s could be a little chunkier. Boom. And then you have presets too, by the way, guys. So just make sure that you're careful when you are distorting because it does take the 808 out of tune a little bit or a lot, just depends on how you distort. So. So yeah, that is crazy, right? No, we ain't done yet. So let's go ahead and access the plugins. So natively in standalone mode, we have more plugins you will see Baseline, electric, and hype synth the, from the Kai Force. Mm. And you have Mellotron now, which is just like a Mellotron. Oh, yeah. Tape sounds. Odyssey, Solina, and the classic tube synth. But let's go ahead and check out Odyssey real quick. I'm going to go ahead and check that out. And then we'll see the other ones, how they look like in the interface here. Boom. So we have this open. Let's go ahead and add some strings. So let's go ahead and see the different tabs. Wow, it's crazy. Check out another one of those. Let's go into Mellotron and let's hear that. Let's see that interface real quick. Yes, sir. Now, let's go back into the main and let's check out this right here which is hype synth my baby mhm mm 
Yeah. See that interface? Just like I remember it on the Kai Force. We we did it, boys. Let's pick out a better patch. So got a choir. I want a choir sound. Let's add some elements back in here. Let's go over here to Selena. Which is a string instrument. Let's go into empty. And let's add that to the beat. Uh, I want to go and walk back to the effects as we just went and previewed the new plugins. So let's go over here. Let's go ahead and get rid of diode for a second here. Turn that off. And we're going to walk it back to the sample. So let's get the sample going. And we're going to check out another plugin. Go to modulation. And let's go to stutter. Now what stutter is essentially is like the effectrix part of the MPC line now. So yeah, you can freeze. So if I stop, change the intervals, and you do have presets. For this next part, we got to talk about the vocals. And you have noticed the vocal quality has changed because I'm not using the Apollo Solo. I'm using the Acheria Audio Fuse right here. And you can see it light up as I talk. What I'm going to do here is turn it on and it'll say in. You can choose auto. And if it's off, it sounds like that. So let's go in. Let's explore some of the new vocal effects. So we have vocal doubler. And you can hear that it doubled. Uh, there are some presets here. Double. <laughs> wet doubler, uh, sloppy B vocals, tight B vocals, and some more hair. So you can hear just slap back delay, and yeah, you can kind of hear what's going on. So what I want to do here is navigate to the harmonizer, so you can hear the quality of that. I'm going to set it up to a D minor instead of a D major, and yeah, here we go. Uh, you see that you have lead volume, you have mix, where you can change things up, settings, EQ. Now we have a whole bunch to work with, and you can just keep on adding harmonies as you go. The next thing I want to show you is this right here. <laughs> and it's the <laughs> it's bugging me out, guys. Last but not least, you have vocal toner, and I think everybody's going to like that <laughs> as I mess with it. And yeah, but I'm worried you can just set it up from the voice range, very low, very high. I don't know, maybe mine is low, but for the most part, I don't notice a difference. Maybe because I, I don't rap. I, I don't rap at all. Not anymore, guys. But yeah, so I adjust it up and... <laughs> nah, bro, he didn't get no verses out of me. <laughs> Another cool thing is this right here. So let's go into the eyeball right here and then go into the insert and you'll see these folders. So if I press the Akai folder, you'll see that there are different presets. So you have dance vocal, bright vocal, T dollar, lead tune and so forth. And these are things that are pretty cool for just like different presets if you wanna have a chain. So you have mastering chains now. And if you wanna master your beat, of course you wouldn't put that on like an insert unless you really want to you have sampling radio you know you have different ways to to get different things done lo-fi and so forth so 
Tell me how you feel about this video. I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section. I know there's a lot of hot takes for this one, man, and I definitely want to weigh in on that with my pros and cons. So uh, the first thing I want to say is let me address one thing because I already know there's going to be people that will move the goalposts as always and they will complain. I know the Ranger thing will be the main thing that people will say that they want and nobody really wanted that until they saw it in the uh, Kai Force. Why not just get the Kai Force? So when it comes down to it, I mean, the NPC is sequence based. So when you change the workflow for the vocal minority, it kind of messes up the majority. I mean, we're talking about decades of Akai history being changed just to please certain people because they want the 16 pad layout versus the 64 pad layout or even just the clip based workflow altogether. Man, they're, they're both prized jewels at that. But for the most part, I love the fact that you can now hook up an audio interface and get more IO and I think that will help a lot of people that play musical instruments or even vocalists when they want to add stuff inside of their beats. I can't wait to see uh, some of the people that use the NPCs in the community that do the whole vocal thing live. They're going to enjoy it. And then there's also the new plugins that are just natively based inside of the NPC that will help with vocal processing as well as halftime. Halftime, a gross beat plugin basically inside of the MPC, if not a Fectrix 2 as well, because they have a stutter plug-in too, makes this thing a masterpiece. And I'm very excited to be a MPC head. And I'm probably not gonna go back to making beats on the DAW, which it's been a year anyways. So let me know how you feel, guys.